Hey guys, Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla. I am the Gorilla, and this is hopefully first of many short, quick start tutorials for Cinema version 14. Uh, I figure we'll kick this off uh, by just showing you how to set up your interface if you're new to Cinema, if 14's your first version, or if you just want to start fresh in 14, I figured uh, in this video we'll go in and we'll set up the interface the way that uh, I like to use it, and at least show you how to customize it, how to save it, and then uh, how to get ready for the rest of the tutorials. So let's head on in for the first video here. These will be a really short, uh, you know, except for me making this big old long intro. Uh, it'll, these will be really short little tutorials, and then we're gonna, also going to have some long tutorials as well for 14. But let's get started on the first short guy. Let's get in here and make our interface. So here's the standard startup interface for R14. And it looks similar to the other ones. And I wanted to show you kind of how I do this from scratch because I run into this a lot using other computers and things. And there's not a whole lot I do to the start standard startup interface to make it uh, customized to, to, to my own. So I figured uh, I'll just show you from scratch. So the first thing I like to do is I, I like to add the render settings into a tab. And the way we do this is open up the render settings. And I want it to be a, a tab of this main viewport here. So what I do is I grab this little nubby uh, handle here and I drop it on top of this nubby handle and it'll make a uh, folder system here, a little tabs. So from here, now I can jump between my viewport, jump into my render settings, and then I also like to add the picture viewer in there as well. So if same thing, you could drag it on top of the nubby, or now when there's tabs, you can just drag it on top of the tabs, and then you can have all three. You can also um, reorder them. So right now I have view, picture viewer, and then render settings. I like actually having picture viewer at the end. So just take the nubby and put it at the end, at, at, at the end of the tabs, and it'll re-set uh, up that way. The last thing I like to do is add the timeline to the bottom. It's not here by default, but if you go to Window and add a timeline, it'll pop up, and then you can do the same thing here, and you can drag it into, uh, I like to have it down here by my materials. So uh, if I'm you know, playing with materials, I'm usually not animating, and if I'm animating, I'm usually not playing with materials, so this works out pretty well. Uh, and it's a little small here. Now, um, it, on my screen, when it's full size, you know, I shrink my screen down to do these tutorials, but when it's full size, I have plenty of room here for my uh, timeline. Um, so uh, uh, hopefully that'll help out you guys. And then from here, I have my main uh, setting. So what I do is I go to Window, I go to Customization, and I say uh, Save as Startup Layout. So what that'll do is next time I open um, Cinema, it'll it'll always pop into this layout. You can also save it and call it a name, or you can make variations if you like to work in different modes. Um, but I usually just do that, and then every time I open, it'll start here. The last thing I need to do is make a new file. It's a new .c4d file, and uh, it allows me to make a few other changes, and then. Uh, it allows me to open that scene file up. Every time I hit new scene file, it'll uh, open up a different file rather than the standard one. So what does that mean? It means by default, you can see we're in a four by three ratio. And um, four by three is usually never how I work anymore. Almost everything I do is HD. So what I like to do is I like to go into my render settings and you only have to do this once. Once you do it once, you're all set, ready to go. So I go to 16 by 9, and then I pick something I, I render a lot out to, maybe 1280 by 720, which I use a lot. And uh, this is my standard now output. Now, if I hit new, right, it's going to open the old new one, which is our um, which is our 4 by 3. We don't want that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get out of that. I'm going to make a new one and go back in and make our, our settings here. And I want to show you how to save this so that when you open it up next time, it'll be uh, uh, 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3. What you do is you just save your, your scene file. Make sure nothing else is in it. And what you do is you go save. And then you go to the version of Cinema 4D that you're using. In this case, it's 14. And just save new.c4d and hit save. And now when we open up a new file, I'm going to hit Command N to open up a new file. And it says it's open. It'll only ask you this once. And you say yes. Well, now I have a new file. And there's a 16 by 9 frame instead of the 4 by 3. And this is, again, how I like to work. And that's it. Um, that is how I set up my uh, cinema for every new version. I'll do the interface changes. And feel free to drag around and play with the interface. Uh, if you have specific things you do, make, a, make, make your own custom interface and save it and uh, get ready for the rest of the tutorials. Well, anyway, that's the first and hopefully a, a, a quite a few short tutorials. I'll stop talking now and uh, hopefully I'll see you in another one real soon. Enjoy uh, version 14 and I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye guys.